Hi, my name is Otia Morris and I work for the Center for Weight Management and I'm here with a few of the members from our team. Uh, Mercedes Hall, who is a nurse practitioner such as myself. Um, Sheena King, who's our dietitian extraordinaire. Uh, Dr. Havilana, who's our medical director for medical weight loss. And Heather Felt, who's also our second um, uh, dietitian. So today we're going to be talking about uh, information on meal replacements. It's always the talk. Uh, do I need to start a meal replacement? How do they help me to lose weight? So Dr. Avalano, the first question is for you that comes from our panel. How do meal replacements help with weight loss? Well, I think they help in, in multiple ways. Number one, it gives you the right amount of nutrition that you need for, that a body needs. It has the right amount of protein, the right amount of fat, the right amount of carbs, so you're not deprived of anything, and it's 100% fortified in all the nutrients that you need. The second is that it resets the stomach for satiety. It tells your body how much your, your stomach is supposed to accommodate so that people who are, tend to be overeaters know that this is what's going to be the set limit now. We, we don't mm -hmm. usually eat to a level of 10. We eat, we, you know, from zero to 10, we think of zero being starving and 10 being overly full. We're supposed to eat to a level of five. Mm -hmm. And this kind of helps you do that. The third thing is that they're just easy and fast. I kind of akin them to like a power tool. If you ever tried to put Ikea together with those little Allen wrenches, yeah. <laughs> takes forever, hurts your fingers. Mm -hmm. So these meal replacements can definitely give them a, a heads up uh, or a... Uh, uh, Fast forward into helping them lose weight as easy as one to five pounds per mm -hmm. week, and and just by mixing up a drink is mm -hmm. basically all you need to do. Open up a packet, pour it into nine ounces of water, shake it or stir it. You got a warm soup, a warm drink, a hot uh, or a yeah. uh, uh, seventeen different flavors of of cold drinks from tropical to chocolate, and then mm -hmm. uh, three different flavors of puddings. Mm -hmm. So it's super easy. With all of that that you said in terms of how easy it is and um, how patients can lose the weight, you know, based off doing the meal replacements, some patients will ask me, well, do I have to do the meal replacement? And it's not a have to, but it's definitely you should try, you know. Mm -hmm. They don't taste like any of the other things that you taste out there on the market, the ones that we use. Um, I find that if a patient does does at least one a day, it's usually recommended for most of our, our patients to do at least one a day if you can, you will get some weight loss. You will get some satiety with it. You will get some regularity in your eating. So not that you have to, but I would definitely say you should try it. Sheena, what kind of protein should patients be using? Because when we think about what's over the counter and what we have, what what's the difference? What should they be using for weight loss? Well, that's a really good question because there are so many different types of proteins and protein products on the market today. And you're sitting viewing a medical team who does all things medical. And so I like to put um, our protein, um, high protein meal replacements as a medical grade or medical quality. They cannot be bought over the counter and they are, you're not really comparing apples to apples when you look at our protein products that we use in our clinics um, compared to something that you would find at the store. Um, as Dr. Hevelana was saying, that they are nutritionally balanced, macronutrient and micronutrients. It's for lack of a better way of putting it, it's like the perfect food in a very small package. And so for those people who um, spend a lot of money on fast food or they eat out or they eat pizza or, you know, even um, eat at a restaurant every day, it's a really um, easy way to get uh, good nutrition in a short, small package, very flavorful for a very reasonable price. So the quality of your protein, you can't just go to your local big box store and buy the type products that we have at the Long Street Clinic. They're medical grade, medical controlled, um, and you've got medical providers who are helping you um, distribute those. Oh, I like that. Um, so look, another thing that we hear from patients, so you go, all right, you want me to do this protein? I need this amount. I agree with what you're telling me. What about the supplements? What's kind of creeping in is this collagen supplement that patients talk about. How does that go along with that? And if it does? Well, collagen is an animal-based protein, okay? So you have animal proteins and you have plant-based proteins. And you get all of the amino acids from your animal proteins, but your plant proteins are going to be missing a couple of those essential amino acids or amino acids in general general. Collagen is widely used. Your body has a lot of collagen in it. So you absolutely can use collagen if okay. you want to. Um, that's probably, you're going to be missing some amino acids if you use just a collagen or a collagen-based protein. Um, but 
some of that's probably better than nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about the amount of protein that a patient should have for weight loss. So Heather, help me out with this. Is there a, a, a set number that patients should have for protein intake to keep this muscle mass that Sheena was talking about and also gauging weight loss? So general guideline for amount of protein that we need for weight loss would be 60 to 80 grams per day. Sometimes it's more, um, sometimes it's less depending on the person in disease states okay. as well. But we need number one, high quality protein to help maintain our lean muscle mass and number two, enough protein. Mm -hmm. um, so aiming for 20 to 25 grams per meal. So what's great about the meal replacements is that you know you're getting a really good amount of high quality protein. Um, even just using them for breakfast because it's really hard to get 20, 25 grams of protein in for breakfast. Are there other options, Mercedes, for patients who, um, who can't do the meal replacements? Yes, so uh, I think that's the good thing about our program is that we also have the food-based program available. Mm -hmm. So we have patients that sometimes they cannot tolerate the shakes, they do try them. Um, it just doesn't settle well with their stomach. So we can do a food-based program. So we, we really work with a, the good thing is we're a team. So we work with mm -hmm. our dietitians as well to make sure that our patients eat a high protein and low carbohydrate mm -hmm. diet. So it's not uh, definitely it's not a requirement to do the meal replacements, but if you do tolerate it, we definitely recommend you to at least use one. So we yeah. can still help patients hit that 60 to 80 grams a day, even if they if they're not a candidate for the meal replacement. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm not, okay. Absolutely. Although there, there's lots of different formulations, right? Correct. So mm -hmm. people are pea mm -hmm. proteins as well, and or vegetable proteins, plant so plant-based mm -hmm. plant plant proteins, proteins as well. Mm -hmm. So we have something that fits all kind of lifestyles, I guess is what I wanted mm -hmm. to put in there mm -hmm. is that. Yeah. You know, people who are vegan, people who are vegetarian, people That's who only correct, feed fish and correct. chicken, people who won't eat mm -hmm. um, beef or or for or won't eat pork for um, you know, religious reasons. You know, I think we have something for everybody. We got something for everybody, so nobody's missed out in that. No. All of us are located. You can see us at the Brazelton office, the Swanee office, or the Gainesville office. Thanks so much.